Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Reviews here, and today I'm bringing you a review of a movie I watched recently called Cyrus. Um, if you haven't heard of this, don't be surprised, I don't think a lot of people have. Um, this movie is rated R with a 91 minute runtime, and IMDb users have given it a 6.3 out of 10 average rating. Uh, it stars John C. Riley, who if you don't know, is one of my favorite actors. He's hilarious. I just, I just love his facial expressions and just like, even though he's kind of like crazy haired and you know, not what you necessarily think of always as an actor. I mean, I just, I don't know. I just love him guys. Um, and then you got Jonah Hill, who he's usually pretty funny. Not always, but funny enough that you'll check out pretty much anything he's in. Marissa Tomei, I mean, she was in an episode of Seinfeld. I think that's enough right there. Katherine Keener, I think is how you say her name, also in an episode of Seinfeld, so gotta love her. Love the cast of this movie. Um, I was curious, <laughs> looking just at the cover, if, if they're really kind of that big of a height difference, where John C. Riley is like this huge, giantly tall dragon, and then like Jonah Hill's like a big dog, and then uh, Marissa Tomei is like this tiny little puppy. I don't know, I just thought it was funny. Um, there is a scene where John C. Riley is sitting next to Jonah Hill and he looks tiny compared to him. So maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So what is this movie about? Well, John C. Riley has been divorced for I like six or seven years or something from Katherine Keener. I'm not sure how you say her last name, but um, that's what I'm going with. And if you don't know who she is, she played um, Steve Carell's girlfriend slash wife on Four Year Old Virgin, probably what she'd be best known for. So she tells him she's getting remarried, and it's just kind of like he's already like down in the dumps and depressed and not really moving on with his life and yet they're still friends I guess kind of and she she wants to take him to a party to introduce him to some women and he gets there and just things are not going good you know he doesn't really know how to talk to women anymore and he doesn't know how to pick them up and it's just not going well and he's like drunk peeing in a bush and he meets Marissa Tomei and she like she thinks he's funny and you know they end up uh, hooking up as you may call it. <laughs> um, and so they they kind of um, get this relationship going and she's kind of hiding her, her real life from him until he goes all crazy stalker on her and follows her home and meets her son who's in his, in his 20s played by Jonah Hill. And they kind of have this really, really creepy mother-son relationship where he's like almost in love with her in a romantic sense, but nothing nothing disgusting like that. But you know, it's kind of almost to that point and he doesn't want another man in her life to take him away. And so he kind of is starting to do this whole game with John C. Riley where he's trying to get him out. Now, this isn't the funniest movie by far, you know, it's not the greatest, you know. I, I really like the story, I really like just how crazy the people in this movie are and it, it makes you laugh to think about it although the things they do aren't funny it, it will make you laugh um, and it's a great story I really like this movie I've seen this movie about three or four times um, I really enjoyed it and I think you guys will too I don't think this is one you're gonna want to watch over and over just because you know it's just talking and it's kind of slow and you know but I love the story and for that reason I'm gonna give this a 6.5 out of 10. I gotta beat the IMDb users because they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. If you're interested, be sure to subscribe on YouTube, follow on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and follow on Instagram.